Today we're going to talk about showing the illusion of depth in artwork. Now the illusion of depth is just a fancy way of saying that some things look like they're far away and some things look like they're close to you. So if you look at these two pictures, only one of these pictures shows the illusion of depth. In this picture, some things look like they're really far away and some things look like they're really close. When you look at this one, everything looks like it's the same distance from us. So if we would like to show the illusion of depth in our artwork, there are some strategies that we can follow. Right here you see the five main strategies that we're going to talk about today for showing the illusion of depth. We're going to go through each one one by one. Now, if you want to start to show the illusion of depth in your picture, one of the most important things that you can do is make your ground line near the top. So I'm going to make this a hilly background right here. And the higher you put your ground line up towards the top, the easier it will be to show the illusion of depth. If you remember our two pictures here, you've got a very low ground line on one of them, and that makes it much more difficult to show the illusion of depth. The higher up it is, the easier it is to show. Now, the first thing that we see here is something called size. What that means is the smaller something is, the farther away it looks, and the larger something is, the closer it looks to us. So I'm going to start by making a really small tree right here. It's going to be a little pine tree and pretty much just a silhouette. Okay, so that looks like it's really far away because I made it very small. I'm also going to make a really large tree right here and that's going to make it look like it's closer to us because it's larger. So that's our first one, that's size. And size actually goes hand in hand with our next one, placement. Placement just tells us where we put our objects. So if you would like to make something look far away, you put it towards the top of your page. If you want to make something look closer to you, you put it down towards the bottom. So if you wanted to make a flower, for example, look really close, you would make it down towards the bottom of the page, and then you would also make sure that it, you draw it pretty large. Whereas flowers that are a little bit farther away, you might not be able to see all the details to it. It'd just be smaller. Okay, so size, again, has to do with how large it is. So the smaller it is, the farther away it looks. The larger it is, the closer it looks to you. Placement just tells you where you put it. So towards the top of the page means it's far away. Towards the bottom of the page means it's closer to us. The third one is detail. Um, anything that is far away from us is not going to have a lot of detail. But the closer it gets to us, the more detail there should be. So in this, maybe I even just make these little striations on the tree trunk, maybe make it even look curved by sort of shading the edges here. And I might even put some shadows in my tree here to make it look more detailed. Perhaps I even have a little bird sitting somewhere up here in one of the branches. So the closer something is to us, the more detail we should see in it. If you look at my tree that's really far away, it's pretty much just an outline, a silhouette. You don't see any details to it at all. The fourth one here is overlapping. Overlapping just means when something blocks something else so you don't see the whole thing. So for example, right here, I could have a little bunny that's coming out from behind the tree here, like this. And you can't see the back of this bunny because it's hiding behind the tree. 
by showing that it's behind this tree, by doing some overlapping, you're showing that the tree is actually in front of the bunny. So that shows us, again, some distance where it is in relation to us. The last one that's on here is converging lines. And what that means is that the farther away two lines get, the closer they should be together. And the closer they come to you, the wider they should be. So one of the ways that you can show that is in a road. And what I can do here is make it look like there's a little path. Now, because it's really far away over here, it's going to be very, very skinny. But then as it gets closer to us, it should get wider and wider to make it look like it's coming closer and closer. So you can play with these five strategies to make a picture really come to life. Try to make some things look really far away and some things look like they're really close to you. Now that we're finished with this picture, you can see that some objects look like they're really far away, while others look like they're very close to us. Go ahead and practice using these five different strategies to show the illusion of depth yourself.